Shares of Apple are lower again today, now down more than 4% since Barclays downgraded the stock to underweight yesterday. And that's helping Microsoft edge closer to overtaking Apple's market cap for the first time in decades. You can see about 100 uh, billion shy right now. And that bearish call also dragging down Apple's ecosystem. AMD among the hardest hit, down more than 8% over the past two days. Taiwan Semi down 4 And that translated into the worst first day of the year for the NASDAQ since 2016. But our next guest both see opportunity in technology if you know where to look. Joining me now is Nancy Tangler, CEO of Laffer Tangler Investments, and Mark Mahaney, Evercore ISI's head of internet research. Welcome to you both. Maybe, I mean, I don't want to totally, well, Mark, let me start on the kind of the big picture theme here, and, and maybe, Nancy, I'll, I'll ask you both. Uh, if this is just a change in leadership, is, is Microsoft the new Apple? And Nancy, I'll, I'll put this to you first. You know, for a couple of years, Apple has literally kind of been the stock market. As it goes, so goes everyone else here. Is that changing now? Well, I, I mean, don't underestimate Apple. I understand that growth is slowing, but one of the things I think the market is missing is that the company has announced $100 billion in share buybacks, and it, and the Magnificent Seven alone has announced 190, Apple's 100 of that. So that puts a floor under the stock price. But that said, we took it out of our 12 best ideas portfolio about two years ago. We still own a small piece of it, and we, did, we do own Microsoft in our 12 best ideas portfolio. And the last thing I'll say about that is I think Mark and I both were investing during the 90s. We think this market is analogous to that market. And at that time, at the end of the decade, the four horsemen were trading at ridiculous valuations at peak earnings. For Microsoft, it was 51 times peak earnings, and it's trading at about 30 not peak earnings today. So I think there's plenty of opportunity. It's a much more robust company with a lot of levers to pull and a lot of monetization still to come in AI. Mark, do you want to speak to that? Because this is now the second time, actually, this analogy to the 90s and 2000s has come up. But when David Bonson used it earlier this hour, he used it in a negative way, meaning, you know, that he saw that as, yes, that was the peak. Well, I think Nancy has a better memory than I do, and I'll also <laughs> defer to her in terms of uh, Microsoft and uh, Apple. I would hope that one mar uh, stock doesn't move the market. And the Magnificent Seven, yes, I would hope the market moves are broader than that. To me, the take on the Magnificent Seven was last year, we, after a, a pretty severe 18-month uh, route in tech and growth stocks, you had the seven, seven highest quality tech stocks lead us out of that. Well, of course you'd want that. You want the most speculative stocks to lead us out? No, you want the highest quality, and that's what we had. Now I think we'll get into, and as we have for the last two or three months, kind of a diffusion in the stocks that outperform. So I think that creates some new opportunities. Doesn't mean some of those Magnificent Seven can continue to work. Amazon and Meta, for example, are two of my favorite longs still for 2024. Amazon and Meta are. I think we showed Pinterest going into the break. What are your thoughts there? Well, Pinterest is our, is our top SMID cap long, so this is part mm. of the diffusion trade. I think Pinterest, under new management, and it's been about 18 months under new management, it takes time to turn these ships. But under new management, I think it's improved tools for advertisers, what they things they call a mobile deep links and direct links. But the return on ad spend for marketers who are working with Pinterest has been rising. The CMO of Walmart talked about a 15x increase in return on ad spend with Pinterest. And then they've got this partnership with Amazon that's really going live now. And I think that's big enough uh, to cause that growth rate to jump up a couple of points. So I think it's a clear revenue growth acceleration story into this year with much greater cost discipline than they've had in the past. So you're going to have real nice accelerating earnings growth this year, too. It's one of the reasons why it's our top long in SmidCap. 